guys this is dr Frijana. i hope you guys are doing amazing like always it's such an honor to connect with you guys i hope you guys had a lovely lovely weekend today i want to talk about how to have a letting go mindset how to have a letting go mindset how to let go of everyday disturbances how to let go of everyday disturbances because we all know there will be challenges there will be disturbances when we interact with in-laws, when we interact with uh, colleagues, we may, when we interact with loved ones, our commute. So what do we do? How do we have that mindset of letting, the let go mindset, the letting go mindset? Firstly, wake up with the following mindset. Say, it's a new day. Things are going to unfold. Remind yourself, there will be challenges in the day. Be excited about those challenges. Pretend like you're going to play a checkers match. Remember, you know that board game checkers? Pretend like you're going to play and you're in control, right? Of the way you react or how you respond. Remind yourself that challenges make life more exciting. It's not mundane. It breaks the monotony, right? So challenges break the monotony. It gives you a, purp- a purpose. It gives you reasons to live out your purpose. Basically, what happens is, remember we talked about our four big purposes? Worship God, right? Worship and show love to God. Have a connection with Him. Engage in acts of service daily. Share creative juices daily. Let go of your ego and others' eager ego daily. So challenges give us the opportunity to engage in these acts daily. So see challenges as something positive, right? Like a spiritual uh, act versus oh no what's happening oh no why did this happen oh no the same old stuff ah right instead of doing that remind yourself that hey wait a second challenges actually help me live out my purpose so now i'm going to share a detachment technique to detach from others actions so as you're going through your day how do you how you want to have that letting go mindset but then how do you actually let go right? When others' actions disturb you. So say this to yourself. Others, humans are having the human experience. That's not me. I'm excited to see how everyone's stuff unfolds. So I'm excited to see how everyone's stuff unfolds. I don't become part of everyone's stuff, right? So the goal is not to become part of everyone's stuff, but to be the witness, the one who's watching it unfold. Basically, like you're watching a movie, you're watching a TV show. And yes, sometimes you'll become part of it. But as soon as you realize you have become part of it, pull yourself out. Quickly pull yourself out and say, it has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. Say, this is my inside, my inner house. I have control here. Remember, friends, we don't always have control of how life will unfold. Right, how people will act and how their lives, they, can, they, they, they will unfold. Their lives will unfold. But we do have control over what goes on inside. How we respond, how we react. This is the one place, say, I have control over. How I witness all of it, process it, let, it, let go of it. How I respond, don't respond. That's under your control. This is your inner house. This is where you live. That inside of you, nobody can y- penetrate that. You have control, so I want you to. Rem- I want to really emphasize that we forget that we feel like oh, we have to absorb everybody's stuff. We have to just follow along to everybody's emotions. We don't, right? We don't have to do that. Also, remind yourself: I don't need things to unfold a certain way. Say that I don't need things to unfold a certain way. I will do what will benefit me, regardless. I will do what will benefit me regardless. I will continue to do the right thing. I will not be dictated by my ego or others' ego. Right? Very, very often, often we we are dictated by our ego and others' ego. But remind yourself that, no, it doesn't have to be that way. I can let go. Remember, the whole theme of this talk is letting go. It's having that letting go mindset. Next. Say, I want to bring something to the world. Not take, analyze what someone didn't do for me daily. 
I don't want to analyze what others did, how they excluded me or you know, what their actions were and how they were uh, cruel, right? That's their actions, not mine. It doesn't take anything away from me. Say that again, guys, loud and proud. It doesn't take anything away from me. Next, remind yourself, I can't do undo an event. Some events will be uncomfortable and some will be comfortable. And that's, again, how the part of the universe works. There will be challenges and there will be blessings. Some events will be comfortable and some will be uncomfortable, right? But you want to stay open and receptive to the reality of life. So you want to you wanna be honest of what, with what's going on. Don't pretend like it's not happening. Don't pretend like it's, it's non-existent, right? Be open, though. You don't want to close, right? You want to learn, you honor what's happening and you want to accept what's happening because you know that this is a learning experience. This is a spiritual event. This is only going to make you stronger. And lastly, remind yourself, losers always seek imaginary predators, Losers always seek imaginary predators. They focus on those imaginary predators. So you don't want to be that. You don't want to be a loser. You want to be a winner in life. Winners let go. Winners breathe in, breathe out, and they let go. They know that every little thing that they let go, I'm not saying you don't speak up, but I'm talking about you don't store it. You don't personalize it. You don't ruminate over it. When you let go, you know that you're only becoming stronger to handle the bigger things. So that will be easier for you to let go of the bigger things and process those bigger things. So you let go. Again, you don't want to be a loser, do you? I know you don't. Again, remind yourself, losers always seek imaginary predators. Oh no, what did my mother-in-law do? What did my father-in-law do? How did my extended family exclude me? Wait a second. How did my colleagues just uh, frustrate me right and 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 just have they look at them they don't have any like boundaries and ah right so you start thinking this way again remember losers always seek imaginary predators don't create imaginary predators see behaviors where they are address them and move on don't store them if you feel disturbances feel them say i feel disturbed energy right now let it go, let it go. I feel disturbed energy right now. Breathe in, breathe out, and let it go. Definitely acknowledge it, right? Accept the reality of its existence, how you're feeling, but then let go, right? Let go. Remind yourself, I'm here to serve those purposes every single day. And part of the one big part of it is letting go of my ego and others' ego, acts of service. And share my creative juices. Wake up with that every morning. That's it. That's your letting go mindset. Because you're here to do bigger things. You're not here to analyze people and analyze people's actions for the rest of your life. And carry it with you. Right? Like you're carrying it with you. You want to be a light being. Right? My burden is light. My burden is light. Say that over and over. My burden is light. That's your stuff. That's not my stuff. I don't want your stuff inside of me. I don't want it. (laughs) <laughs> All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. You guys are amazing. You guys rock. Uh, go out there and have that letting go mindset. Let go of everyday disturbances and re- understand that the more you let go, the m- more good energy will flow within, more uh, knowledge will flow within, more you'll be able to live out your purpose and be love and be light. All right, guys, take care. <laughs>